more and more people taking to the sky as COVID-19 restrictions continue to ease. It's nice to be able to travel again and and do things with your family after being home for two years. And come Monday, traveling in and out of the country is set to get a bit easier for some, with restrictions loosening again. Welcome news for Erica Suderman and her family. She and her husband traveled to Mexico in March, while testing requirements were still in effect for returning to Canada, a reason why they left their two children at home. I think the reason we didn't take the kids was because I didn't want to have to worry about them, you know, getting COVID and having to test and come home. And my kids don't like taking a test, so it was just such a, you know, we didn't want to take them for that reason. Travel agencies also welcoming the news and they expect to see another uptick in Canadians traveling. That pre-flight test has been expensive and it's also been a hassle with this round of restrictions being eased. That's really where I notice a lot more families excited to, to start to travel. But fewer barriers for travelers can also mean fewer barriers for transmission of the virus. Remember that the more that mandates and restrictions are dropped, the more that gives us the opportunity to be mobile, to get around, uh, to be around more people. And of course, that's what the virus likes. Epidemiologists say travelers should research both levels of restrictions and levels of risk at their vacation destination. And with the U.S. dropping mask mandates for air and train travel amid rising cases, now is the time to take extra precaution. I would strongly encourage people uh, to be wearing a, a well-fitted mask and to wear it consistently. And Suderman plans on doing just that. As she looks ahead to planning a trip to Mexico, this time for the entire family. I would definitely want our trip to be uh, COVID-free, so masking all the way. Marty Blunt, Global News, Winnipeg.